All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. It, it looks like a fish? Your Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Get this one. 
into the medical field. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
Charlie, help! <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. God, no. Charlie!
Hello! And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude. You know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. But shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me, I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically, just go with it. All right, amigo, Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy, I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. 
Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> Feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Uh, uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um... No, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, boy. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? 
Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. I'm sure Julia left anything on the mainland. <laughs> this only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey. All part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Huh. What am I looking at here? doesn't look kosher. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Almost got the gear good to go. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? But if it was a competition, I'd still do pretty good, right? Well, if you adjust for inflation, gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little 
We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? Hey I guys, can't stop you. Thanks already. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. 
I'll have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh-oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Keep these around. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. We have unexpected guests. Stay quiet. I'll do the talking. Uh, what do you think they want? Or maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. Oh, yeah. They'd have lobster pots under that buoy. I mean, if it's theirs. I mean, maybe it's our beer delivery.
What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it i mean can you believe it Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this.
Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes, I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is 
taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now.
All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow, you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? OK, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. OK, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. 
closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Didn't you? God damn it. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. <sighs> You're gonna regret. 
regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. see what they want to do with us. Speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he 
he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Someone had to take the reins. I wasn't just gonna sit around and do nothing. All right! Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, so put a cork in it. Ah! <laughs> Sit still, all of you. You, 
Come with me. Hey! Leave her alone. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> mm. 
probably shouldn't have said that. is a floating death trap. sign up for a trip to creep down something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Thanks. 
the hell is this fucking place? Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool? What happened here? Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah. Or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? The way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. I wonder why this was ripped off. What do you think this ship was? Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on. Alex, I'm really scared. Real, real creepy. Les soutes, 
T'es sérieux T'as vu l'endroit Ça tombe en ruine, Olson, et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. some stairs around here.
I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. This place is fucking massive. Go get it. Now's our chance. Grab it. <sighs> you gotta watch my back. What do you think I've been doing? <sighs> okay. Keep an eye out. Damn it, they're taking bliss. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres.
What are we doing? I thought we were following them. Gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. We've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. Today's beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. Something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Human? I mean, 
Was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. So spick and span. What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? gone on ahead. Connie! Hey, Conrad! Where the hell did he go? Why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me where we are going, damn it! that alone. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you?
yourself! Damn it! This fucking place is cursed. Look at this. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! to do this. Jesus! Oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on the ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Friends go. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? C'est quoi ce bordel Anyone there? <sighs> that can't be a good sign.
Jesus. What happened down here? Place. 
What am I hearing? They're close. Maybe they're through here. Need something to help me get up there. Alex? Julia? Hello? Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? Some sort of altercation. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no!
on here? name is this. This place is not right. Let's keep your head on straight.
Brad. Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Brad, stop! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. Fuck. wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's what you get. You get these guys that are not cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. I gotta find everybody. 
And something... And it's, something is fucking with me. Probably not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? I should. But should I? Yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? Got some heft at least. Enough for the door.
<laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah, better way. We gotta get somewhere safe.
Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on. That's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers. They were bodies. They were dead, but then they came alive and... That... Doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and, like, dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just, like, up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. It looked like the newspaper was from 1947. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're uh, 
speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but... I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. This is... This is where I chased Conrad before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Over here! Got a way through here. Last log shows him caught in a storm.
You find the radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... Come on, this is an emergency! Please! Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect, big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. <sighs> Broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. Ah. 
After you. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Sick bang. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. Say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. the son of somebody on board. Jesus. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Uh, the ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. Ugh. Oh God! What's up? That it, 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 it was. Wait, wait, did you see it? Um, hello. Okay, so I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going.
this. The ship is actually anchored. I wonder why. You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh fuck. Try to avoid that. Yeah. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? <laughs> have all the gold, and I'm to be left here to die, but I... <laughs> Aha! Please tell me we're 
safe. Oh. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of... Stuff. Can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Okay, alright, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look! We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying, and the mist is inside. Keep me alive! Uh. Hey, man, come on, just put the. By the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh. I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well.
stay by the radio. We need someone to keep listening. Aye, aye, Cap. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. Make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around.
it's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. Gotcha. All right, let's try it. Fucker that took our boat. I thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense, you know. I'm just. And I know what I saw. I just don't believe in whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex, it was someone else. But they looked just like Alex, and he was sneering at me. Fucking rich kids. So, um, does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? This guy. Yeah. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable.
Olsun. Olsun. Eh. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? Oh. <laughs>